So after making the video on the 2 micron filter mod, I had removed that fuel filter so many times to verify proper fitment, to check the fuel pressure and compare between both filters, and I just pulled that thing on and off so many times that I kind of accelerated the wearing out of the crush washer and o-ring in my secondary fuel filter housing. Um, so as a result, I've developed a small leak. So the normal solution would be to replace the o-ring and that little aluminum crush washer, but I thought, you know what? I bet I can do one better. I bet I can upgrade this, find a way to make this a little bit better, a little more user-friendly for future. And sure enough, I did. Let me show you what I did and how simple it is to change. If you have the O1 style, now I'm saying O1 because on the top here, I'm going to put a picture somewhere on the screen. This part number has an O1 in it. The bolt uses an aluminum crush washer up here at the top. Again, I'll put this on the screen and an O-ring down here. So you'd replace that O-ring and that crush washer and that would solve your leak. Now, later models of car didn't have the same issue because they used the O2 style housing, which used two O-rings. So you just replace your O-rings. But that aluminum crush washer has always been a weak point on my cars. And so I've found a rubber impregnated washer that fits flawlessly on there and then seals up as good as the O2 style housing. So if you have an O1 or an O2 style housing, all the parts are down in the description. So you can either replace your O-rings if you have an O2 style housing, or you can replace your O-ring and upgrade to the new rubber impregnated washer if you have an O1 housing. So let's go take a look at the car and pop this on and see if it solves a leak. It's raining out here, so I gotta make this pretty quick. We're gonna take our nut lathe, crack this guy loose. So I had that incredibly tight because I was having issues with it leaking. So let's see if we can't filter off a little ways and then we can hopefully push our bolt up out of there oh, there we go it's pretty well stuck now, see this is interesting because this has a little copper crush washer on there, which is wrong. That's not going to seal. So we're going to replace that with our one that I've changed the O-ring and put a rubber seal on here. And we're going to see boy, that looks like that's going to seal real nice. So let's spin our filter back on here. Oh yeah, I think that's going to seal up real nice, even without having to turn the bolt maybe. I'll give it just a little, little extra snug. Let's give that a try. I'm going to have to move the camera because I'm going to start the car. Looking pretty dry. Fuel was coming out of this bolt right up here at the top running along and pouring off the back there. I'd say that is a very solid solution for preventing fuel leaks from there. And there you have it. It's really all there is to it. It's as simple as changing out that washer, popping on a new O-ring, and then changing your uh, fuel filter. So unscrew it a bit, pop the filter up so that the bolt comes out, change the two parts, and away you go. That's really all there is to it. 
And then from there on, you won't have to tighten that up as much for that crush washer to seal because of the rubber. And you'll just have a better, easier to maintain vehicle. So hopefully this helped you out. Uh, consider sticking around. We have lots more interesting things on the way. So uh, thanks for watching.